I'm Marv Klenke. I'm a traditional bow hunter. I've uh, been bow hunting for 53 years. I've been an outdoor writer since the 1970s. Started out with Bow Hunter Magazine and then traditional bow hunter. Let's take a look at the equipment that I take to Alaska. Obviously, your most important thing is your bow and your arrows. If you don't have them, you're not going to do a whole lot of hunting. This is a 64 inch, 55 pound Black Canyon longbow, and uh, it's uh, one of my favorite bows. The arrows that I take her, some that I built myself. These are cedar arrows that I have dyed to make them look like Osage because I just love Osage wood. And uh, got a switchblade broadhead that you have to make sure your broadheads are sharp and really, really sharp. So this is the equipment that I take to Alaska and Canada. I've been doing this for 40 years, so I've taken equipment out that I didn't need if, or a couple times. And if you don't use it then, take it out, get rid of it. The most important thing is you want to make sure that you have a really, really good hunt. If you get an animal, that's icing on the cake. But go up there with the idea that you're going to have a great, great hunt. Let's go to Alaska and go hunting. I just can't tell you how hard it is to hunt these caribou in the rain. Uh, they just are moving constantly, and uh, this is a resident herd. We're not into a migrating herd of caribou, so they're back and forth all over the area right here, but it's just about impossible to get close enough to shoot one of the bow. Now, this is one of my favorite pastimes up here is eating blueberries, and I just couldn't get enough of those things. They are just really great. If you ever get the opportunity, make sure that you get up there to Alaska and experience what we did. And thanks for coming along and I hope you had a good time.